Sometimes you have to take calculus that little bit further for an excellence question. Often, you might be given only some of the information you need to get an equation from a gradient straight away. You already know how to do this for C, but how about a second unknown? Take this for example. We might want to model someone walking up a hill. Don't ask me why, it's just a question. Let's call it city planning. Pretend we have this gradient function, where m is a constant, and we know the curve describing the path over the hill passes through the points negative 2, negative 10, and, and 1, 8. How can we find the equation from this? Well first, we integrate as normal. If you've been following our other videos, this should be pretty familiar by now. After integration, we get this function. So what next? Since it passes through the point negative 2, negative 10, we can substitute these x and y values in. If we rearrange this equation, we see that c equals negative 6 plus 2m. But we're not finished yet. What's m? So how about we substitute in our other point, 1, 8. Why might we do this? To set up a simultaneous equation to find the value of m. We have two unknowns, x and m. So we need two different points to solve it. We know that both c and m are constants, and so should be the same value for both equations. We just do the same thing again, substituting f of x equals 8 and x equals 1. Combining the two equations now like a simultaneous equation, we then rearrange for m, and we see that m equals 8. We put this value for m back into one of our equations, and then solve for c. We can now put this information all together to give the final equation. f of x equals negative 4x squared minus 2x plus 10. If you graph this, you'll see it's a pretty steep parabola, not something you'd want to walk up. Here's some things to remember. If you have two different points, you can solve for up to three unknowns, in this case x, m, and c. Integrate, then substitute in one set of points to solve for m or c. Use a simultaneous equation to work out one of our unknowns. Substitute this value to work out the other unknown. Combine all the information together to get the full equation.